Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Stone here, back for another video. And before we get any further into the video, I need you guys to subscribe. I found out 98% of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed to the channel. So what are you doing? If you're on the video, you obviously like the content, so subscribe, drop a like, and then follow Twitter, follow Instagram. You know the drill as always, so let's get into the video. So today, we're going to be finding out what if Hakeem Olajuwon played in the NBA today? So I got the best version of Hakeem from 2K21 Next Gen and I put him on the Houston Rockets and we're going to see how 5 years of his career would play out today. So one change I made from yesterday's video was I made Hakeem Olajuwon's years pro, I turned it down to 5 and I made him 25 years old. This should prevent him from any sort of decline he would have during his career. So with Hakeem on the Houston Rockets, they should be able to win a championship because you have him, James Harden, John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, and Christian Wood. Like this team should be able to win a championship. Like Christian Wood's been a bucket this season. Same with John Wall and of course we have James Harden. So if this team isn't winning 60 plus games, I don't know what they're doing. So. Let's just get into this. So at the end of the season, we're going to see Nikola Jokic taking home MVP, posting 27 points a game, 14 boards, and 9 assists. The dude was balling out this season. James Wiseman, Rookie of the Year, Spencer Didwitty, Six Man, Giannis Defensive Player, Michael Porter Jr., Most Improved, and Doc Rivers, and he's taking home Coach of the Year. And I don't know what to say. Hakeem Olajuwon is not making any All-NBA teams and he's only on the all-defensive second. Hakeem Olajuwon on the all-defensive second team, and that's it. And he was only posting 18.7 points, 14.4 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 2.6 blocks. Hakeem, what happened, my guy? And not only did Houston underperform, but I think they performed worse with Hakeem on the team as they went 47-35 and, and finished as the 5th seed. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe they're going to bounce back in the playoffs? I guess we'll have to watch and find out. So with time winding down in game 6, the Lakers are going to be up by 16 here and they're going to be taking down the Houston Rockets. Honestly, this Houston team just surprised me. From the bottom up, for the top down. It just wasn't very good. I don't know how because they have a ton of amazing players. James Harden, Hakeem Olajuwon, Christian Wood, John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, and you only won 47 games? I have questions about this team for the future. We'll see what happens. And the Boston Celtics, they're going to take home the NBA championship. And Jason Tatum, he's going to take home finals MVP. So headed into this season, the only major change is we're going to see DeMarcus Cousins leaving the team. Other than that, the same old chorus together. James Harden only has one year left on his contract. So who knows if he's staying And Hakeem. I want to see a bounce back here from you. You played terrible last season. Like, I mean, this is an alright stat line, but I mean, look at your 93-94 numbers. You were getting buckets. And now, you're not looking the same. I want to see you dominate this year. So Giannis, he's going to be taking home MVP at the end of the season. Evan Mobley, Rookie of the Year, Brandon Clark, Six Man, Jonathan Isaac, Defensive Player, Lamella Ball, Most Improved, and we're going to see Stan Van Gundy take home Coach of the Year. So Hakeem Olajuwon, he's going to have a massive bounce back season where we're going to see him make the All-NBA First Team, putting up 24 points a game, 18 rebounds, 2.7 assists, 1.5 steals, and 3.2 blocks. And he didn't win Defensive Player of the Year. What's going on 2K? But the most disappointing thing about this season isn't Hakeem not winning Defensive Player of the Year, but the Rockets not even making the playoffs. What happened to this team? And Memphis, they're going to go on to win the NBA Championship, and John Morant, he's going to take home Finals MVP. So headed into Year 3, this team's not looking any better, as Hakeem has definitely improved, he's gone up to a 98. James Harden's still here, signing a 5 year extension, but the rest of the team? No changes really. Christian Wood's still here, John Wall's still here, but the rest of the core? Yikes. Oh, but we got Caruso, never mind. We're competing this season. We're probably going to win a championship. We got Caruso on the team. Don't count us out. 
So at the end of the season, we're going to see Luka Doncic taking home MVP, putting up 36-9-9 and a game. Victor's taking home Rookie of the Year. I still haven't learned how to say his last name. Cade Cunningham, sixth man. Jonathan Isaac, defensive player once again. Carl Lewis Jr., most improved, and Lloyd Pierce. He's taking home Coach of the Year. So Hakeem's dropping to the All-NBA second team this season, where we're going to see his numbers drop just a bit though. 20.7 points a game, 16.3 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 1.4 steals, and 2.2 blocks. The defensive numbers definitely taking a step back, but he's still going to be making the All-Defensive first team, and this Rockets team sort of bounced back. They made the playoffs. 43 and 39 and they're going to be taking on the reigning champions in the memphis grizzlies in the first round this is going to be tough the rockets they haven't been looking too hot as of late but we got james harden on the team we got hakeem olajuwon so don't count us out yet so with time winding down in game six memphis they're just going to be too much for the rockets here and they're going to fall in game six you know this was a tough game for the boys but i don't think anyone's overly surprised by this loss they weren't really looking that great coming into the playoffs, so yeah, we're just looking forward to next season and watching the Rockets bounce back, hopefully. So the Chicago Bulls are going to take home the NBA championship, and Cade Cunningham, he's going to lead the way for them. So headed into the fourth year, this team looks awful, like complete and utter trash. Yeah, we have Hakeem. Yeah, we got an aging James Harden that's starting to decline. Yeah, this team is horrible all around just terrible like other than caruso he's the only bright spot in this team but he's not going to re-sign with us why would he so at the end of the season we're going to see trigger Trey taking home mvp mac mcclung rookie of the year brandon boston six man Giannis defensive player jay and hardy most improved and frank vogel coach of the year and Hakeem, he's going to dominate this season, making the All-NBA first team while posting 23 points a game, 16.2 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 1.3 steals, and 2.7 blocks. Obviously, he's making the All-Defensive first team, that's no surprise. And the Rockets actually bounce back. The third seed going 48-34. and Hakeem must have been doing magic for this team because I don't think there's been any changes. Not really, I guess we picked up Lonnie Walker the 4th, but other than that, yeah, the team's just here, nothing new. So with time winding down in game 6, we should have known what was going to happen. This is the Houston Rockets, even though we have James Harden and Hakeem, the team's not going to win. They're down bad, down tremendously actually, and I got nothing else to say. Maybe in year 5 we'll be able to take home a championship, but I highly doubt it. Oh, LeBron James is on this team. Alongside Luka Doncic. Yeah, I know why we lost. So the Nuggets, they're going to take home the NBA championship and Nikola Jokic, finals MVP. But that Dallas team? Honestly, after I saw them having LeBron and Luka, I thought they were easily going to take home the championship. That team really underperformed. So Hakeem... You're on your final year with the Rockets here. James Harden's declined. The team is down tremendous. This season is honestly all about how many blocks you can get, how many rebounds, and how many points you can get. This is strictly a stat season. Just ball out. I don't even care about the playoffs. It's stat season. So at the end of the season, we're going to see Trigger Trey taking home MVP. Ruben Jordan, Rookie of the Year, John Collins, Six Man, Giannis Defensive Player, Nolan Hickman, Most Improved, and Monty Williams, he's taking home Coach of the Year. And in our final year, we're going to see Hakeem Olajuwon making the All-NBA First Team, posting 24 points a game, 17.4 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 1.3 steals, and 3.1 blocks, and obviously he's going to make the All-Defensive First Team. But the Rockets, sadly, they will not make the playoffs as the team is going to go 35-47 and 47 and miss the playoffs. Mavericks, they're going to take home the championship and Luka Doncic, finals MVP. So given everything from this video, I think this was actually not an awful representation of Hakeem. Obviously, he would average more points. I think the rebounds is pretty realistic. Assists, I mean, you can maybe give him one or two more a game. Steals, I think that's almost dead on. And blocks, I think they should sit around three. So it's not 
a hundred percent accurate but it's in the right ballpark but honestly the fact that this team had zero success is my biggest issue Hakeem and a prime James Harden like yeah we're at the tail end of his career we're not going to take a lot of W's here but like we had a prime James Harden Christian Wood who's absolutely getting buckets right now John Wall who's bouncing back looking not too bad and DeMarcus Cousins who had been coming off the bench in year one realistically this team should have been able to win a championship and the fact that they didn't well that just sums up 2k like how unrealistic it is and how it just doesn't look at all the small things so comment down below what you think do you think Hakeem Olajuwon would win a championship in today's NBA I mean the obvious answer is yes but if you say no explain why you say no thank you all for watching don't forget to drop a like subscribe Follow Twitter, follow Instagram, you know the drill as always, and I'll see you next time.